Well, I've been a faculty member at MIT for 35 years. I've known Woody Flowers for a very long time. Had lots of passionate conversations about what it takes to get students excited and passionate about what they're doing. And first was something that he was, he cared about a lot very early on. So when I started the Edgerton Center 18 years ago, one of the things that, one of the first things we did was just decide to go out and sponsor a first team. Now what we do with our first teams is our mentors are MIT students. So they're the ones who are mentoring the younger students. I've had, I've been fortunate to have a number of really important mentors. One of them was a man by the name of Harold Edgerton, who's known for, as the father of modern high-speed photography. I was his teaching assistant, but he helped me uh, take on new projects and helped me do my very first publication, which turned out to be a cover photograph on Nature magazine. And those were because that he was just a wonderful mentor. But I had a number of other people along the way who gave me a nudge in the right direction at the right time, and it made all the difference. I had a really terrific chemistry teacher and when I went to college I thought I was going to be a chemistry major and my first uh, college chemistry professor convinced me that was a really dumb idea. It took him about two weeks and I became an engineer but that's what I was really destined to be and I didn't know it because as a high school student in 1964 there wasn't much in the way of engineering that you got to do. We didn't have any first teams, and so it took me a while to discover that I was really meant to be an engineer. First has been made, a, I think, a major impact on how what students know about and think of engineering. The, I mean, how, what uh, Paul Godonis was saying, 10% of high schools in the country now have first teams. That, that, even at that percentage, has a big impact. The notion that you can build things, that you can integrate programming with mechanical engineering, uh, that it's all engineering and that it's fun and exciting, that's important stuff. I had a student in a class one time that I was teaching at MIT and he wasn't doing very well in the class but he came to me and said I'd like to do a project with you. Now at MIT we have what's called our Undergraduate Research Opportunities Program where MIT undergraduates can join up with faculty and grad students and work on a real research project. And I found out that this student was really good with his hands. He would have been a, a stellar first student had it, had it been around at the time. And I was doing an experiment at the time that needed some real delicate hands-on skill. I needed a, to build a model. And the grad student that I had working on the project was excellent with data, a terrific analyst, but he'd probably hurt himself with a screwdriver. Okay, and so this student who wasn't so good at the analysis side, but was really good building things, I said, wow, you're just what I need. How about joining the team? And he'd not been very happy as an MIT student because MIT is mostly about analysis, at least it was in those days, and there wasn't all that much opportunity to get involved in a first like uh, activity. So he got involved in it, did some incredible model building. I got him to stay on as a grad student. He did his own thesis work for me and he came to me at the end of his year when he did a master's degree and he said this has been the best year of my life. So that's that's the kind of story that you, it makes you feel good as a professor when you can make that kind of change in somebody's life. At the Edgerton Center at MIT we've been working with local high schools and middle schools and we've found that one of the best ways to do that is to get MIT alumni involved. So we've recruited MIT alumni vol volunteers to work with teachers. We have other volunteers who have picked up with after school programs. We have volunteers that help with first teams. And these are really rewarding experiences. And I have people come to me afterwards saying this has been one of the most fun things I've ever done in my life. So I can just highly recommend it. If you have a little bit of time and a little inclination to give back, do it. So some of the most powerful experiences that I've seen students have at MIT, and in particular women students in engineering, are to getting students involved in doing international development projects. We have a project at the Edgerton Center called D-Lab, in which we take 50 students every fall, teach them how you work in a developing country, 
how you find projects to work on, and, and mostly about how you work with people and help them become inventors to solve their problems. It turns out that this kind of work, as engineers, this is real engineering work, is really appealing to women. They, you know, they have a, na a natural um, desire to nurture, and they find that this kind of engineering problems are very, very fulfilling for them. And so we find that our classes that we call in D-Lab are well more than uh, half women and some of the most successful students that go through it that have gone off and, and done some really remarkable things in the countries that they've gone to have been women students. Well, the Edgerton Center at MIT has been engaged in doing K-12 outreach work for 12 or 13 years now. And we've tested our, we've developed curriculum, we've done teacher professional development, we've worked with our local school system, we've gone a little farther, farther afield and worked with a community in Gloucester, Massachusetts. We're now about to take on introducing some life sciences curriculum that we have in all the public, all the public high schools in the city of Boston. And our next step is to take what we do in a more national scale. So we're working with an alum in Florida who wants us to come down and figure out a way to work with the teachers there. We're talking with people and more alumni in San Diego. So I believe that there are thousands of MIT alumni out there who want to help improve science and engineering education in their local school systems. And we're trying to figure out ways that MIT, the MIT Alumni Association, MIT Edgerton Center can help them be successful at doing that.